So I'm not about to get stuck here standing up looking stupid because I didn't fucking bow and broken and, and try to compromise with this bitch and she's still fucking gone. Hell with that. To hell with that. Don't compromise. Don't bend. Don't fold. Don't bow. Fuck them. Walk this bitch alone if you have to. Walk this path by your damn self. But you stand on your principles. You stand on your code. The best way to teach people is by telling a story. Ken Blanchard. About two months ago, I did a video talking about how an awakened black man is actually something that black women fear because they don't want a man to come into a sort of self-awareness of his manhood. After that, I did a video talking about how MGTOW wasn't really about women because going your own way is actually just the natural being just the natural way of a man and just the other day i did a video telling brothers to stay focused every video that i've been doing has been steps towards a bigger lesson every video i've been doing have been pieces to a puzzle of a much bigger picture now i think it's time to start getting into the man code. This is one of the things you have to understand. Going back to when I said MGTOW had nothing to do with women. A man moves the way he moves based on his code. He don't move the way he moves based on somebody else. It's a mistake to think that a man is doing a certain thing because of a woman or he's only hard when it comes to women. Or he's on, that's a fake man. A real man moves the way he moves because that's just what he is. That's just who he is. That's just the kind of man he is. Put it this way. If I'm in a situation and a man was to verbally say something wrong to me, I'm going off on him. I'm getting in his ass. Especially in my younger days. Older Kush, I might not get in his ass right away, you know what I'm saying? Because I try to move a little bit different. I'm a little too old to be in the clink. But the point is, a man is not going to come at me sideways without getting chin checked. I don't care how big he is. I don't care how many niggas he killed. I don't give a fuck what his background is. He can have teardrops in his eye and all kinds. I don't give a fuck about none of that, bruh. Because I don't break Ben about. I don't break Ben about. I'm a nine war nigga and I'm about it, about it. So if a man was to come at me sideways and I will push back on that, what makes you think I'm gonna let a woman walk over me? See, this is not about women. This is about my code. This is about my principles. I am not gonna be nobody's bitch. Not a man's bitch, nor a woman's bitch. I am not gonna be nobody's doormat. Not a man's doormat, not the system's doormat, not a woman's doormat. I'm not gonna be nobody's jiggaboo. I ain't dancing when I don't want dance. I ain't bending when I don't feel like bending. I ain't doing shit for nobody that I don't wanna do. I'm not about to be that dude. We are already boxed in this system through work. They have already enslaved us all throughout the need, that, the, 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 the need of money the need of capital so that we can buy things that the earth actually gives us for free. And they've been figuring out ways to limit our access to natural resources over time. And until we, and we don't wake up soon, this is what I'm talking about the man code. If we don't wake up soon, we are really gonna be in a situation where we're gonna have to fight. And the crazy thing is, these devils got dumbass psychopaths on their side that will fight on behalf of them despite not getting no benefits from them just because they have this need to hurt people. And, and if we don't wake up and deal with this stuff while we still can through the political system, we are gonna be left with no other choice but actual revolution. And then all of these dudes, all of these high value men that y'all worship, these niggas are cowards. They are not gonna be on that front line fighting with you. They are cowards. 
They are only bad when it comes to women. They're only bad when it comes to talking to somebody that, that, that's physically weaker than them. They don't challenge other men. As much as I don't you know, care for that dude in the Red Pill community, Andrew Tate, he was a fighter. He was a fighter. He at least would get up there and fight another man hand-to-hand -hand combat. Says a lot about him on the inside. Regardless of what I think about him and this whole red pill thing, he will fight. So when it comes down to it, we are, we, are, so we are being led by the sorts of men that have no code. We are being led by the sorts of men that if you pull a crime off with and they get busted, they telling on you. Do you know why we don't snitch? See, I hear y'all dudes, I hear all y'all squares talking. They, they be sticking to this old bullshit G code, talking about don't snitch, snitching get stitches, and I, I, I hear y'all all that, but y'all don't understand that it got nothing to do with nobody else. We don't snitch because that's an internal thing, bro. I'm not telling on you for me, not for you. So you gotta understand that when a man has a code, what the code does is it removes all uncertainties in, in regards to how you move in certain situations. You don't have a choice. Your code kicks in. Y'all remember Pirates of the Caribbean? How they explained that the code wasn't really laws, but more like guidelines. Well, your code that you develop for yourself are your guidelines. And you stand on it. And I ain't saying it's going to always be easy, but you stand on it. You stand on it like a G. You don't fold, you don't bend, you don't break. You stand on it. And these are the kind of characteristics about a man that makes a man a certain type of attractive that women cannot deny. Mm-hmm. Women can't deny it. These are the things that make you a certain type of, that give you a certain type of appeal that women just can't deny. They can sense that shit on you, bro. They can sense in how when they talk to you, how you act around them. Yeah, you might be charming, you might be throwing on a flirt hall, but they can tell, look, Prime example, I, 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 I mentioned this in a video that I never posted, but I'm gonna talk about this again. I had this girl that used to flirt with me at the gym. Young sister, beautiful sister. I mean, natural, pretty hair. Oh, this girl is gorgeous. Bad bitch, right? And I'm, I'm way older than her, though, you know what I'm saying? But for some reason, she was digging me. She, was, she, she used to watch my style. There are other brothers in there, but she liked my style. So she started trying to get my attention. She got my attention eventually, and I walked over and talked. Now, she never made the first move. Remember, I talked about this position of power. She never actually made the first move, but she did everything to let me know she's trying to get, get my attention. I mean, she would walk in front of me, pull a, pull a little jagged, let me see them shorts on her ass, and flip her hair, you know, make sure she pulled her head down right in front of me. I mean, long, pretty. I mean, it was bushy, but it was long, you know I mean? Gorgeous girl, you know? And so I eventually went over there and talked to the young lady. We exchanged numbers, you know, and talked a little bit. But now, here's the thing. I made the first move, so the ball was in her court, so to speak, right? And she was like, slow, right? I mean, it's like, like, like shit wasn't happening like, like at the pace I like, right? So I just stopped calling. I just stopped texting anything, right? And I was still seeing the gym, but I wouldn't, now I'm not even speaking to her. At first I was saying hello, you know what I'm saying? Then after a while, I just stopped talking to her. Now she noticed this. So one day she come over and like, what happened? What did I do with you? And this is what I say, real story. I said, look, you went out of your way to get my attention. Oh, what you want? We ain't gonna play games. Just stop. Just leave me out. You went out of my way to get my, you went out of your way to get my attention. You got my attention. I talked to you. We exchanged numbers. We talked and whatnot, right? I said, but now when I reach out, you want to respond when you want to respond or don't respond that day and all this. Account. Look, I'm not playing these games. I did all the chasing I'm going to do walking up to you to talk first. That's the extent of my chasing. That's the extent of my running after you. I ain't doing no more. If you like these fuck ass niggas that's gonna chase you around, I ain't the one. Now, now what? Well, I, I didn't mean it like that, Kush. I, I, I didn't mean it like that. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm sorry, you know. And everything changed. And, and everything, everything changed. You know what I'm saying? And I'm old enough to be a daddy. Everything changed. But my point is, I let her know, I ain't playing this game with you. Because I have a code. 
Yeah, you beautiful. You young, you look good. Hey man, it makes me feel good that you even, you know, threw yourself, you know, that you try to get my attention. I mean, I'm on cloud nine, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't smashed nothing that look like you in a long time, you know what I'm saying? I mean, fuck. But, don't think I'ma chase you, bitch. I don't care how good you look. I'm Kush. I am a man. And I'm not about to violate myself for nothing or nobody. If you want to play, you got to grow up to play with me. If you want to deal with me, you got to come up a level to deal with me. And this is the thing that makes me attractive to women. Because when they see a man that won't bend, break, or bow, they be like, whoa, because all you niggas are so weak. Y'all make it easy on me. Y'all so fucking fickle. Y'all make it easy on me. Now, don't get me wrong, and I want to put this on the record. I honestly believe that had I not met my wife that I have right now today, I more than likely would be single. Yes, I do believe that. Because the women have gotten worse and worse and worse as time has gone on. They haven't gotten better. I would either have to meet a foreign-born woman or I would be single. I do believe that. So this is no this is no slight to none of you brothers that are single at the moment because I understand that it's not really your fault. You're dealing with elements here that not all of which you have any control over. I get that. But you still need to have a man code. You still need to have a man code. Because the man code is the only thing that you can stand on in times of uncertainty to know which way you should go. Because we all know what we should do. The problem is doing what we should do. That's the problem. And I'm gonna repeat that. We all know what we should do. The problem is being strong enough to do what we should do. Think about it. Develop your man code. Remove all uncertainty. Remove doubt. Remove fear. Stand straight. Stand proud. Stand strong. Develop your code of principles and you don't bend, break, or bow. And you already know what it is. Everything in your soul tell you what it is because that code is going to come from God. It's, 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 it's inside of you. You don't even have to think about it. You know instinctively what you should do in every situation. You already know that, that, that if you want to respect, you want a woman to respect you, you got to respect yourself, which means that you can't bend in, in, in her presence, which means you can't bow to her in any kind of way. You can't yield to her in any kind of way. You claim that you understand that you are supposed to be the leader, but you're trying to compromise with her. No, you have to be uncompromising. You have to be uncompromising because the truth of the matter is I could compromise and that bitch still not be with me in two weeks. I can, I, I can bend everything, all my principles, I can throw them out the window and that bitch could still walk on me in two weeks. At least this way, this way, I am stand on my code and if she walks, she's gonna walk on my terms, not on hers. If she moves, she's gonna move on my terms, not on hers. Because she can get up and walk anyway whenever she's ready. She's the female. That is their, that is that, that, that is one of the powers they have inside that relationship. They can leave whenever the fuck they wanna leave. So I'm not about to get stuck here standing up looking stupid because I done fucking bowed and broke and, and try to compromise with this bitch and she's still fucking gone. Hell with that. To hell with that. Don't compromise. Don't bend. Don't fold. Don't bow. Fuck them. Walk this bitch alone if you have to. Walk this path by your damn self. But you stand on your principles. You stand on your code. Live by, die by. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out with this bitch and Brother Kush, aka the Black Alpha. Salam. So